I'm Julie, and welcome to another Weirdness Really Bad movie. And today's movie is from 1958. It's a Richard Boone movie, and it's called I Bury the Living. Now, a fun day, man. Normally, we're at one location with one co-host, but today's show is a little bit different. We're going to go to several different locations in the afternoon area where there have been ghost sightings, and we're going to use different co-hosts. Now, the best thing about a ghost story is that even if you don't believe in ghosts, you still get a good story. Yes, and usually a little history also. For example, today, we're right now in the Akron Civic Theater in the heart of Akron, Ohio. Now, back in the early 20s, when radio and talking movies were just getting their start, theater for the place for entertainment. Now, with theater, movies, and uh, the vaudeville circuit through Akron, Akron had a rapidly growing theater district here. And in 1949, Marcus Lowe had John Everson design this very theater. And if you've ever been inside the auditorium, Dave, I don't know, it's amazing. You sit there and you look up at the ceiling and you see stars and clouds. I never realized this is called an atmospheric theater. And in the United States, only five remain. Wow. Now, prisons, hospitals, and theaters have more than their share of hauntings, and the Akron Civic Theater is no exception. Right. So, Dave, why don't you get our tickets so we can get inside and tell our stories? Okay. Yeah. I need two tickets, please. Okay. We'll meet you inside. Hey, Julie, do you want to see? Make that one ticket. Hey. Well, it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Civic Theater is known for three different spirits that continues to linger about. Well, the first of the spirits is a very well-dressed ghost like me. Like you. Well, maybe a, a little better than me. Anyway, he is thought to be one of the patrons of the arts or perhaps an actor who never left the theater just waiting for one more encore. Wow, neat. Well then, another one, his name's Fred, and I think he might be the most well-known of the spirits. In his lifetime, he was a janitor here at the theater when it was known as the Lowe's, way back then. And he died during his shift. So, story has it, he continues to come into the theater wanting to finish his shift, so he could be found anywhere within the theater. Hmm. Now, there's one thing about Fred, and that he doesn't like anybody who disrespects his theater. No, no, I've heard that um, he's been known to chase people out of the restroom if they try to put graffiti on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is one more ghost here, but actually, it's back behind the Civic Theater. Oh, neat. Okay. Did you hear that? Hear what? Well, there was a sound over there. Over, over here? Over there. I didn't hear anything, Julie. Now where did she go? I think she went out back. Uh, thanks. Uh, the name's Fred. Wash your hands next time you use the restroom. Well, it's about time. Well, some of us have to walk, you know. Well, anyway, our third ghost is more, not so much with the theater, but has to do with this area of the canal near the theater. Now the back of the Civic almost backs up right up to the canal. And then this story actually goes back to the time when the canal built Akron, Ohio. Right, now the story goes that this is a female ghost, that she had jumped in the canal and drowned, committing suicide. And she can still be heard crying and sobbing softly. And then she disappears into the drain under the theater. She just disappears? Yeah, just like this. I really need a better agent. We'll be right back.